imagine. I think you're you're doing a lot on the commodity market and how the market dynamics are working for UAE. Mm-hmm. So, what is your take on mm-hmm. let's take predominant two topics like mm-hmm. oil and gold? Mm-hmm. Uh, and looking at the UAE scenario in particular. Well, markets markets are pretty uh, enthusiastically optimistic at the moment. Wow. And uh, although I would be wrong to say that they are just unilaterally positive. Uh, there have been ups and downs both. Volatility is definitely an order of the day, and that is likely to stay even in the time to come. Uh, and not just in UAE as such, because in the globalized market that we are, uh, it's kind of interlinked in many other ways to global economics. Uh, and that sort of uncertainty is probably seen everywhere, from Paris to US and everything in between. Um, but by and large, it is kind of driven by what happens in US um, and what's happening in the Europe as well at the point in time. Asia is pretty uh, uh, looking top positive at this point in time. Both India, China, uh, they have seen their lows and uh, seem to be like on an upward trajectory uh, in the last couple of quarters. Uh, oil and gold predominantly as you were asking, uh, oil uh, I would rather say it, it's, it's, a, it's a very uh, interesting commodity to sort of look at because it's not just the economics that drives the prices, uh, a lot of geopolitical issues and we have had many of them and there's no dearth of them. Uh, so yeah, uh, at the beginning of the year we've seen uh, certain, certain positive developments for oil where OPEC countries reached out to non-OPEC and reached to an agreement on production cuts which kind of had pushed out the prices to some really high levels. Uh, but since then, US has been also trying to sort of pressurize OPEC to sort of control uh, the prices of the oil and they have been more often than not successful in doing that. Uh, so for so investors like from an oil perspective, <clears throat> mm-hmm. so what will be your take? Like prices are slowly slowly going up so i will not say a fast movement yeah it's, it's it's on a quite a higher trajectory right now yeah i would i would i mean i would always um, be on a buy side okay uh, because of the fact that at 20 odd levels when we had seen about 2 3 years back uh, at the time of the crisis of uh, that probably are uh, kind of the bottoms okay. that we have seen for a considerable time okay. uh, we are not still looking at a scenario where Typically, some sections of the markets are saying that you know oil could possibly hit out at 100. That seemed to be also quite unrealistic at this point in time. But it would be a range-bound sort of a market. Uh, so at every dip, I would sort of look to buy. So 70 also, you say to be a buy. Market. No, it's kind of on the higher end of the range at the okay. moment. Uh, we would see some bit of correction. I would probably, I mean, it will not be appropriate for me to sort of give you any specific uh, number on that. But uh, on a brand. 60 to 70 dollars for a barrel uh, is what the range that we're looking at okay. and it kind of gets boring when you see the oil sort of oscillating in between of that okay. but that's how it is and i think uh, market has also accepted that as a reality uh, something really drastic has to happen and we don't hope for that uh, for it to sort of break away from the range so looking at uh, like uh, geopolitical situation mm-hmm. and all that mm-hmm. how you range like gold as an investment for both wholesale side or, or the investor side or the retail side? Retail side is always good. Okay. Uh, wholesale side, there are a lot more many opportunities to look at. But gold also sort of has become um, a safe play more than an, it used to be uh, quite an interesting uh, concept where gold was looked at as a hedge against the inflation which is not no more which is not the case anymore because inflation is not the cause of worry and in these times of the markets uh, most of the developed countries are struggling to keep up the inflation uh, the interest rates are being lowered um, liquidity is being pumped into the market particularly in the west uh, so equities are typically looking at you know adding more delta and alpha and short say onto the portfolios every quarter so gold kind of also has lost its uh, momentum and it also has got stuck in a very uh, range bound trading sort of a thing for last almost a year or so okay. uh, between it hasn't been able to sort of break away above 1300 dollars so what's your take final like from a from an investor perspective mm-hmm. should they put their eggs on the same gold and oil or 
what what kind of a percentage of well, investment do you take to this i would i mean i would be diff- i mean it would be difficult for me to give you a percentage but i would always uh, be of the opinion that um, you know certain section of your portfolio has to be exposed to commodities okay. in general uh, for we for example us we sort of look at in commodity as an asset class and then diversify it even further okay. so energy is part of the asset class okay. within the commodity space metals is an asset class and we talk about energy and as metals then typically you gold and i mean oil and gold respectively become uh, sort of the favorites uh but yes i mean gold even now even though it is in a range bound sort of a zone at this point in time is at every possible dip in the market at around 1200 or levels one could look at buying uh, so what's your know. what's your final take for them from an investor perspective well final take is basically uh, it's not necessarily don't go too aggressive on doing anything uh, just be more uh, vigilant to what you're doing be more aware okay. and whenever possible you know seek the professional's advice as always and uh, yeah but do not be completely averse to it uh, there is no need for you to be or anyone for to that matter to be completely having a phobia towards it it's as risky or as not risky as equity or any other asset class to be honest so in your statement like it goes as it's we need to be optimistically cautious yeah yeah in the market which is coming in absolutely and then yeah just be more vigilant just be on toes just be connected with the markets thank you very much so thank you thank you